Italian Ice Family Land, you know how it goes. This is round two up here inside Casa de Jones, you know. It's in the background, you know. Yeah, 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 whatever. So, gave you part one about my first time trying to buy radio ads. Uh, it didn't go too well, but it's all right. Learn from it. It's part my fault, part their fault, but it's always about building and learn things to do better, okay? This here is going to be part two to, to things that I did wrong this season, even though it was a great season, the best one on yet. I made some blunders here and there. This here's called somebody who approached me about taking over or handling all my booking of, of um, entertainment acts, um, my marketing for the event, doing the flyers and the whole nine, stuff like that. So it went horribly wrong again. But the plus was maybe in me, I also uh, on the back end did my own advertising, so it was fine. But so I got a phone call one day for a meeting to uh, uh, up, up and wait for with, with people that I know, one person I knew officially. And say to be there, they ask you want to help hosting events and can help them out with, can hear them out. Sure, me being a nice guy, no worries at all. So meeting Wake Forest and is having me the person I know and, and also somebody else that I know as well. They're like, what's going on? They say that they're trying to form their own tag team for events going forward and they want to help guidance on it, kind of give them answers and have them help them out with the questions they may have. They're going with the, with the events. All right, fine, whatever. But I'm like, well, wait a minute. One showed up next. I said, "Hey, weren't you part of other group? Are y'all are y'all still cool? Something happened, you know? Now I, I don't I don't don't need the details, but I want but I want to show you that I'm not put in the middle of dumb stuff so that I can stay neutral. I'm cool with both both parties, right? Something did happen. It's not going well, so I left him. I said, "Okay, I'm willing to help you out, but I'm telling you right now, I'm going to let them know that I'm helping you. That way, there is nothing on the table. Nobody can be complaining, saying I'm backstabbing." I have no clue what, what y'all had with the falling out. I don't care what you're falling out. To know that I'm trying to be neutral on this whole event. So be above board. We all got to be sure that we're all on the same page and know what's going on. I am I helping you at all? Okay. So they, they proposed that they want to take over all of the marketing, book the acts, and then build a stage. They got somebody who, 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 who can build stages for me and the whole nine. Well, this, this was cool with me because for a while now, but this is what I've been doing on my own, advertising, Trying to find the acts on my own, perform, find my own DJs, trying to find a stage if I want to have a stage there in the whole night. And it's a lot to, to do by yourself when you're, when you're also doing, the, doing the advertising, trying to find trucks and paying all the fees and the whole night. So I was trying to get things off my plate, see? I was trying to share responsibility, to lighten my load, so I can quit getting more, quit, quit getting these, these gray hairs in my beard and the whole night. So it sounded good to me, you know, that hey, I had an event in the past and it was well attended and I had the flyers out there. I remember seeing the flyers out there for an event. You know, I was like, hey, I did that flyer, you know. Look good, look good, look good. And um, I'm thinking, if anything, if we combine forces properly, it should be okay. So I remember they had they, they, they had good flyers. I saw that. The event they had, eh, but that was more color because it rained. It was cold. So that's what happened to everybody. What can you do? All right. So we decided uh, that we we'll could go for it. Pen, pen. I first told, told the other team that I'm working, working to help them out with their events, whatever. And they might, they might help, help, me, help, help me do my marketing on my side. All right. So I tell them what's going on. Other teams are going on. They're cool with it. They don't care about it. They kind of shot a little bit. They, they tell me what's going on, the whole details. Again, I don't want to hear all that. You know, let me be neutral, but I'll listen and whatever. So. <laughs> but it was a good one. Lord have mercy. The things people go through, do, deal with, the, the shadiness on both sides, it is off the chain. If I could just name names, this should be a TV show with what goes on in the background with these groups. Oh my God. And it was all true. It was all true. Because the person verified, yeah, yeah, it's what happened. But oh my God, what? Anyway, so I go to have meeting round two, me and the main person trying to put, put this uh, put this marketing slash, slash entertainment group together and wait for us. Flag number one. I got one rule, everybody, as well, when it comes to my time. Be on time. If I have a meeting scheduled for you at 10 o'clock, you need to be at 10 o'clock, not 10.15, not calling at 10.05, how about I'm almost there, I'm on the way, not, hey, I'm running behind. I don't give a damn about your time schedule, okay? Respect my time, too, because most time, I meet people where they are. So I'm living over here on the other side of town. I'm driving to where, where, where it's close to you to help mitigate you being late for my thing. And no matter what, people insist on showing up late, so... Going forward, got a rule now. I'm there. I give five minutes after that. I'm leaving. I don't care who it is. I'm doing the place and people get mad. You being mean? I'm not being mean. I'm tired of my time. I'm not being respected. Or whatever. So, the late for meeting number one. 
they finally arrive, you know, look like, looking like they're struggling to get to get through life, you know, the time frame. But they say that they've been uh, hosting their own, um, hosting acts for a minute. They have people who are artists perform with, they perform all the time with them, they do book. They have DJs that are well known with a good presence in, in the area. They're also on the radio, DJs like that. They can pull in. Uh, they have marketing they do on Facebook for a flyer they go to, they, they pass around on well, boost that up for acts, you know. It has my hope and build a stage. So if I could just take over the marketing piece, get that piece to them for a small fee, they'll handle everything for me. They book the ass, I can sit back and relax, and this boom, 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 be good to go, right? And I said, well, how does that work? What's the, what's the fee structure? Hello, I ain't crazy, you know. But you set a budget, you know. Jay set a budget, give me the budget, and I'll make it work. You tell me you need a stage, I got a stage. You tell me you need how many, how many bands you want, one, two, three. You want a DJ, how many times you want a DJ to play, the whole nine. I make a budget. So I said, okay, that's okay. I know what I'm spending normally for acts now. I know what they should, they should cost. I understand how much I'm putting on ads on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. I know what that's called. I know what stage costs. But again, the first time going about, uh, out the back with it, first time trying it out for the work, I took it between $1,000, $2,000. Okay, all right, that's cool with me. Got you, sounds good. That'd be the thing going forward. Now remember, the idea is that they're going to, that's my build stage, because that's the ideal as well going to have a DJ there. I'm going to book the acts. Okay, fine. So that's the process. He sure what I want. Yep, yep. So detail what I want is I want an itinerary. I want the event in Durham last uh, five hours. So I want, want at least two or three bands playing. I want the DJ playing for two hours straight. And then I want the host as well doing things. So it makes, all, it makes the whole event flow. Everything's good to go nice and neat. And the idea is that the band will stop the last half an hour so that people aren't hanging around up until 8 p.m. And then looking at me how about it ain't over. Oh, it is over. That way, bands up 7:30, whatever. I have my have out my uh, my my megaphone announcement. It's over. Get out my event. It's over. You know how I do. You know for this. So going through the pipe, doing that, and that sounds good too. And we're on that meet number one. So that's laid out what I'm expecting, right? And of course, meet number two. Let me, let me, get, let me you know get my mind right and try to be sure that I I actually did did miss anything on the back end coverage. All right. So we do that. Come down. This is in like in, in March. Early March. Remember, my events ain't till May. So, meeting number two. Meet again by them. Again, they're late. So now I'm getting pissed, right? So now I'm like, here we go. With my time is, oh, my kids had a rough morning. I had a rough morning. I'm sorry, yada, yada. I don't give a damn about you nor your children. This, this, this don't. That's your problem. I, I get it. But if I'm here making maybe make it on time as a priority, it's just that my time for you isn't a priority. So you're late. Oh, I apologize. I'm sorry. Ah, whatever. So we get there for the meeting. And we're fortifying. Hey, the budget's going to be $1,000. Okay, gotcha. I thought about it. In case they mess up, let me, let me catch myself. But $1,000, give me the axe, you know, DJ. I'm good to go. And based on most time I pay from DJs, paying like 400 bucks. That way the bands have more on band. You know, can find the bucks, whatever, a piece, whatever, and do it that way. So it isn't that bad. So I wasn't off on my schnod on what I was doing to begin with anyway. So... That's going on the pipe there as well. Looking all fresh stuff. So at the meeting, a thousand bucks would be for your budget. And we'll be fine there. I want to have a stage built and possibly. I'm not sure and I guarantee it yet, but go ahead, have my own hand five, five times before that. I'll put my money in the budget. Get the uh get the uh the ads going for marketing on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, the flyers, what they are, get that going, we'll be good to go. All right. So that's clear on what I want to have happen. So then the person that asked me on, on top of while we're there, hey, I haven't set up my um, LLC yet. I'm, I'm not sure how to do it. I, 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 I'll get confused when I see all the words on, on, on the page. You know, can you help me out with that? I understand that. No harm, no foul. Sometimes it can be a lot. It can seem daunting. I understand they're more of, of a creative. So that's the excuse of uh, the thing about the paperwork and numbers aren't my thing, you know, but creative to it, I can, I can, I can host. I can kill the game on flyers. My images are fantastic and wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I'm sucking. So I say, well, I thought the person that heard me the last time, your partner was going to be be here. And they asked the ones who handle paperwork, quote unquote, and they're the ones who can handle the unsaying permits and licensing and the whole nine. And why ain't they doing that? Well, they're actually unsure. And, and, and with you, I, I'm confident you were done right. So I wasn't sure they done right the first time, go around. Huh? I hear it all the time. Okay. I don't mind it. I'll let that go, you know, if I understand. Maybe I'm done it right, because I will do it right. Just be out of fairness. I don't want any problem about the government. So, all right, I understand that. But remember, they were late. So, 
At this point, he said, hey, four to five things that I wanted, the time frame, the budget, this was going on with it. I want itinerary, you know, I want to see the fly what's going on. This is March, okay? So meeting two's done. Boom, boom, everybody had the marching orders. We're off and running. Fantastic. Well, I'm going 100 miles an hour. Once again, here I go being busy with my, with my Titan Ice Car picking up in April. I did have, a, have, have some major events that happened that are massive. I'm got taken part of, so my mind is busy getting that. I'm getting bookings again, phone calls are ringing off the wazoo. People want to be vendors at the event. People want, want my, Titan ice, my ice car to cater their events. I mean, it's off the chain. But again, my fault, I'm not making time to go back and check what's going on. So I know that I didn't see any, any fly been posted about my event yet. I know I didn't see anything going on. Um, uh, sent an email to me about something going on. So I started sending text messages asking, hey, how's it going? You know, checking the end. Oh, it's great, going fine. Yep, yep, we're doing, we're doing good. I got lined up, got my ass lined up. Well, who? I don't have a clue who you got coming. Oh, don't worry about it. I want to be, listen, gentlemen, you come there, show up, just be there, and just enjoy what I'm going to put on for you. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. So that ain't how I operate. But I'm trying to learn to let go a little bit and not be as controlling over the whole event. I'm saying, I'm trying to share. You got to let go of some things, let, let, let people handle their tasks. They're right and they're wrong, okay? Because had I been on it more, it wouldn't have happened. But Again, still early, some time to go. I'll let it be, because they're sure that they got the band lined up, yada, yada. But I still ask for an itinerary. Who's coming? I have no idea what the band's name is. Oh, my God. But let me not be controlling. So I step back from that standpoint, right? Okay, no harm, no foul there. So it's April now. Now, remember, my events are in May. So I haven't heard things again about the itinerary. I said, no test asked how's it going, you know, overall. It's going great, going great, no problem at all. Or whatever, we got it's on track. The band's lined up. Again, who is lined up, right? So we're on the pipe. So I get worried. Of course, I've been sending my own little posts, you know, about the flyers here and there that I make myself. This I always do it months ahead of time. By default, I'm telling you, you have to advertise for your events months in advance. You can't do it the month of, for the most part. It's not going to people. People going to say, "Hey, I didn't know, but I didn't see." You got to have people time to plan for your event, and get ready for it. Put it on their calendars so, you, so you're not sure who you're reaching any time. So you want to do it over two or three months to ensure you have to hit a bigger market over and over again. Folks know it's coming and they can't forget about it. Okay? I mean, also, that's the important. Mine happen, always happen on the weekend in May over holiday weekend. So people end up making it a destination because, hey, they, they know about months in advance. They can plan on coming to town for it and we're more and they're happy with it. So it's April. My event's going on. I sent text messages. Say to the guy, but I haven't seen anything going action on it. So let me go ahead and do it. I normally do. And do it my own flyers, so I post for my event and pump it up because I have a a um, responsibility to the to the food trucks and vendors to do the best I can to ensure. It. Probably also again, I'm thinking that if I'm doing it, and they doing it, it'll be a bigger bigger audience going forward, right? So do my thing. I normally do advertising my events on my own, paying my, paying for ads, doing a nice new, making the flyers, fantastic, killing the game on my side. So now we're into, uh, into late April, coming up to May. I again say, hey, where are the ads? I haven't seen you, haven't seen you post no flyers. I haven't had an itinerary yet. You know, what's the problem? I'm only doing something. I'm back out doing myself. I don't have no clue what you were doing, what you have done. You know, oh, I got it. So, 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 so you want an itinerary? Yeah, I told you I want, I want a breakdown hour by hour. Who's coming to the band? What time to go and perform? That way I can get to the DJ. Who is the DJ? Matter of fact, he can have his stuff squared away and hold on. Okay, I got it. It'll, it'll be um, be, it'll be on this DJ. Gotcha. Okay, fine. Thank you. I, that way, I can all, on my side make make up a flyer for that DJ. He'll be able to come to the event as well. Give him some love and shine. So what what ask him be? Some deep people are here. Okay. What time for we got going on? I haven't put put it down yet, but I will do it. So then you go back to I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it. it. Never happens, right? So I go ahead and go through full force again. I'll tell you how I've been doing. So now we're in into, into uh, May. I can say, hey, I haven't seen no flyers advertising on for my event. Where is that at? Oh, well, my 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 my, my guy who has to hand flyers, he's been really busy lately. What? I'm the damn how busy he is. This is what are you talking about? This is, I'm paying you. you should be paying him. Therefore, I'm a paying customer. So if anything, my should, I should take priority of what he's he doing in his life. I don't care what the hell the person got going on. If I'm paying, it's a problem. Go back again to see. I really feel that way. If I'm paying you for a service, I don't hear the crap about you're busy. 
you haven't gotten time to it. So now I understand back to my time frame is my mindset is going forward now. I got to have that, that MOU, the, um, the, the memorandum of, of understanding. I need this stuff delivered by this date. If you miss that date, you're not getting paid. So cause it's being so loosey goosey, my fault, thinking they were handling things properly or how I would be doing. Hey, I didn't, I didn't properly put out what I needed in the right manner. They go on probably, hey, the person do other thing, got they doing other jobs first. And mine, since my event happened in the May, they'll get to it toward the end of May. What? You know how stupid that sounds? You can't advertise an event that late in the day. Oh, I do it all the time. So normally for my events, Jay, I go ahead and actually put up put up flyers the week of the event. That is the dumbest thing I have ever heard of. And explain sometimes why people go to events that people have, haven't heard about. It. Hello, because you're trying to advertise the week of the darn event. People might already have plans for that weekend that it won't break. Even then, are you really reaching everybody by doing that? So you have to advertise months in advance to build up momentum for the event. I don't care who you are, new events, old events that have been large in scale, I've been a part of all of them. I'm telling you right now, in time, the host doesn't advertise even for an event that has tens of thousands of people that are in attendance. I promise you, they're poorly attended when they're not advertised weeks, months in advance. It does not matter. So I'm saying you can't do that. You know, never button head. That didn't work for me. I need this thing by Friday. If you don't have it by Friday, you can cancel the whole, the whole thing out. Yada, yada, you know, I'll handle that portion. The, 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 the thing I do myself, go from there. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm sorry about it. I didn't know the party. Trucks and the vendors are trusting me to advertise for the event. If you got to do a flyer better than what I can do, do it. I can back to another video that's coming up pretty, pretty soon. If I can do it myself, you better better do the, a bang up job better than mine because it's no point me hiring you, paying you if I can do it my, my damn self. At that point, it's just a matter of time. If I'm too busy to do it, I'm paying you to do it, better get it done. But if I see what you did and I can do it, man, please. All right. But so now I'm going to head because I really don't have the official itinerary for line by line based on what they were on schedule. For the time frame between three and eight, I don't have the actual, actual the full names of the bands because it might change, you know. But I have DJ supposed to be there. I haven't heard from him at all. I'm trying to pay him, pay him hey, we'll confirm that you're coming here, or whatever. Nothing at all. So now we're in May, and discussion about hey, the flyer coming on the pipe. The flyer man don't have the flyers yet. You gonna get to him uh, very soon here. Yada yada. So now it's like about two weeks prior to my to my event, right? Uh, popping off. So in the meantime, I went ahead, I do on my own, I was paying my own ad boosting, I told him I'm doing my thing, do what I normally do, killing the game with that standpoint. So the person, the third person again, hey, we're going, with, we're going with the flyers, hey, I finally got a flyer here, I want to send it over, I look at it right now, they send me an image on my phone of the flyer, all right, that's fine, I don't like this, I don't like that, let's adjust the process. Here's why you do it ahead of time, so we can have time to edit, and give input on it to ensure that, that the quality of the product that I'm giving out makes sense. Hmm? Hello, you know. I made a change to send it back to him. I don't need to sign that, you know. And boom, boom, send it back. Days go by again. So now we're coming back to, you know, it's, uh, almost a week prior to the event. Remember that? And the send a flyer, the changes it here, you know, got the one want to add to it before I send it out. Send what out? At this point, I'm send nothing out. I don't, yeah, I want, I want to change that, I want to change that, but it's too late in the game for you to do that now. I got my own flyer sending out. It's no point. No, but I won't do, I, I don't want to hear nothing because I told you it should have been done. It's not done. The, the flyer's here now. It looks fine, but I need to have the changes made to them. You haven't made the changes yet, so now I got I to tell you more changes. You got to go back to the guy and have him make them, hopefully done in the time of my event. It's no point. You're too late. I can't use them regardless. I, can't, I won't have them print out, made them flyer, hand out the event, double-sided, showing it's a sugar red, and, I'll, and also, 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 also take soul. It's not there for you. What I want to tend them for can't happen, so it's no point. I'll print them out for you. No. It's too late in the game. You're wasting my time. Okay? So, that point I'm upset. They're upset thinking I'm being mean, being unreasonable. Huh? But whatever. Now I'm the bad guy. Okay, fine. So, then we go through, uh, have that falling out and I say, I'm done. You know, let it go. Whatever. I'll see you on Saturday. I still have a tenure. I need a time frame. What's going on? Woo, 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 woo. You know, you need to handle it. Because at this point, by me not being on my A game, being too busy, I went ahead and would have booked my own acts. Uh, own band DJ as no one but you know lesson learned you know I chose the wrong team to work with so the day the event comes the event is banging okay my advertising worked 
People have heard about it. They've been planning for months. You know, they saw it on the radio, heard about it on TV, like normal, which happens. Very fortunate all the time. Uh, so that lead up to it. Ain't nothing crap about, hey, I'm day up and all there. We have a good lead up to the event. Vince great. The person hired is also the host, you know. She's great at being a hostess. You know, no, no, no shade at all. She's great at doing herself. Back to she's great advertising for herself only, not others. DJ's there, he's playing good music, doing his thing, he was on time the whole night. That was great. So that was fantastic too. So then they had the bands come on. Eh, eh, well, they're bands, you know. I really don't care about it for the most part, but people while they enjoyed it, they enjoyed the DJ more, playing more songs with the one to hear. But band was fine. So overall, what they delivered on was okay. I actually didn't need the stage. I told them ahead of time, no stage needed. I want to deal with that headache, you know. So what they failed on was our times for my event. They failed on getting me the flyers made up completely. Uh, they failed on getting me the itinerary. I knew so I knew what, what, what was going on. And so now because that, we aren't talking anymore. Well, I'm saying probably they won't talk to me. Only because, you know, they feel like I'm, I've been mean the whole time to them. I'm being unreasonable. I'm the bad guy. When it's really a matter of, Two, twofold, me not giving them strict deadlines about what I needed initially in the very first meeting. So I got to do better on that standpoint. I need this by this date. And they have it tied to the money, you know, overall. So, you know, that's on me. What's on them is understanding that they're doing business in, in, a, in a dumbass way, okay? You can't advertise for somebody else the week of the event. Who does that? People normally sending out invitations to events, flyers and events. At the time, have street team, which claim claim what what they what they were as well, on the street putting out stuff ahead of time. None of that happened for me, so they fell on things they owned, living on. They did get a DJ, they did have band band perform, they had a host there, so that's what that was. Ended up spending a thou while for that, you know, a thousand bucks gone for no real reason. As it now, as a result of that, hey, I'm the mean guy. They see me, they want to talk to me. I'm the total unreasonable and yada yada, call them kind of names. I understand that. But it's a failure on my part and their part for providing shitty service. But go back to, hey, maybe it's an issue of them being new and first time doing things. They're unsure how they should be operating the business. And that's my fault again for not catching on. How long, how long have, you, have you been doing this? Oh, okay. Are you doing it for clients or other people or for yourself? Even then, is it on a smaller scale? Are you doing, are you doing it for somebody in the backyard for a birthday party? That ain't going to work. I need events that's been going on. That way you can come back. So go back to like it's our part one. I can, we can, maybe, we can maybe go back to it in a year or two after you've made changes to about what, what, what my experience was. Hopefully you built from that and got better and it isn't as bad. See, that makes more sense to me. So my side, I understand it's a growth thing. While I'm annoyed in a mug, it's a growth thing. So I got to do better on my side, but hopefully you learn and go on, on the front side. So all in all, I tried by my first album radio. That sucked. I chose the wrong person, wrong team. Also didn't, didn't put out there my deadlines and expectations and things I, I didn't do on my back end for checking the ad before it went on air. This person here, I didn't get in the right time frame for it. Hey, I need this done now. I need my, my flyers done now. I'm going out between, uh, two months prior to the event to be sure to get it popping. You know, I need my itinerary now. I need to know the, the bands now going on with it. So everything locked and loaded. I think I understand things will change, but you got to have a game plan for who you want to lock in. Even from a band, band, band point of view, you know, if they can get booked a month ahead of time or, or two months ahead of time, they're happy. At that point, it's on the schedule. They're good to go. They, they don't have guaranteed money. Like even with, the, with my tight night business, if I can get booked months in advance, that's guaranteed money or guaranteed events. Like right now, it, in December, I'm booked for events in August. Okay, people call them things in October already. It, it's nuts. So, you know, so that happens too. So that's part two of me making a mistake, hiring a marketing person, team, quote unquote, to handle my marketing, um, Making my own, making my ad on Facebook for me, making my flyers up, hiring an act and DJ. It went horrible. The process was horrible. And the result was fine, but that's more because of what we do on the back end, you know, it's whatever. So, part three is coming up. Me trying to have partnerships to make these events better, you know, people I'm partner with, for finding vendors to come in, whole nine. It as well went horribly wrong. I tied it four times now, and it all failed. I don't know what people are doing, but I'll explain that later on. All right, family, you know, hey, two failures this year, record profits, I made mistakes. I'll keep sharing, keep listening. Talk to you later.